Good morning, welcome to the Southampton International Boat Show. Here we are at the show uh, and I'm going to introduce uh, something we're very excited about here at Sultan's Brokerage. It's a brand new model, we're the exclusive UK dealer for Fugu Ribs. Okay, let's take you through this uh, Fugu 29. So she's built in Sweden, uh, built and designed in Sweden. This is hull number three. Hull number two went to the Can Boat Show. Um, it's first of all hit by the striking looks and design. So this one's been finished in black. There are other options with the tubes and the colour schemes. It looks really striking in black. And as we look down underneath here, we see the stepped hull. So just looking at this hull design here, it's got a peat stepped hull, uh, which is well-renowned, well-respected hull design, um, used up to 80 foot on some models. And for this configuration, with the rib, yeah. with the peat steps hull, and with a single inboard engine. She comes with inboard options with a petrol or diesel option, with either a Bravo 3 or a Bravo 1. Okay, we're getting, we'll are start with the transman and make our way forward. So there's a few things to point out here. So we've got, um, we've got the trim tabs here. Um, we've got the um, scuttles for the, you can wash the boat out in the cockpit. You see just here, these are the scuttles. Uh, trim tabs just here. Um, we've had a sea trial already and found that it didn't need much trim at all, that hull. Um, the way it sits in the water, that there wasn't uh, hardly any trim. We didn't need any actually when we're out in 22 knots of wind in a easterly in Pool Bay, uh, which is our onshore breeze. Um, this particular model's fitted with the Bravo 3 uh, outdrive um, with the dual prop. Um, there also is an option for the Bravo 1. Um, we've got different engine configurations which I'll come on to. So I've got a stainless steel bathing uh, ladder just here, tucked away. Really nice design, just the little features here, really nice, really slim uh, aft navigation light here. Bathing platform. And then we step up onto what is the aft sunbed. Let's come through here. So, Let's just have a look here. So we've got the aft sunbed here with the bolster cushions for the seats, the backrests here. What's really nice is when you're sat here, I'm just going to take a seat here. So we've got the sprung seats here just forward, so one, two, three, four. And then if you sat back here in this aft seat, you're actually up at a reasonable level. You can see forward, you're not tucked away behind. So actually as you're going forward, at at speed, cruising along at 40 knots at a nice comfortable pace. You've got the sprung seats forward, and then we're just sat here aft, and, and actually, just a nice height. The Allman Sports suspension seats, not the cheapest option, but really nice finish to the, to the boat, the look of the boat, and also with those suspension seats, it's just a nice comfortable ride. So if I just give that a push down, you can see, even just pushing that here while we're just on the dock. Uh, you got it here. We've got the foot pedals just here for a nice, solid, secure position. And then we come onto the helm position here. So we've got a 16 inch Simrad display screen here. Everything you'd expect from latest technology, optional extras. The buttons, the power buttons here for the uh, battery switches. Uh, Fusion, awesome sound system. And also fitted with the zip wake. We've actually found, for the sea trials that we've done so far, we didn't feel that the zip wake on this particular model is a feature. I think it's really clever, but actually with this hull um, and design and the configuration, didn't feel like it needed it at all. It wasn't really uh, doing much to this particular hull. And we've got the race controls here. So it's nice and simple out of gear. So when you're in the marina, um, it's very, very smooth and very easy just to switch up from gear to gear. See the finish, the look, the windscreen, the cup holders, the grab rails, the lighting, everything screams quality all the way through. Just coming aft here, so if you look here, so we've got a lovely uh, colour matched table. This is an optional extra if you want the table in here. The table itself is stored below. I'll come on to that. We're going to have a look down below in the cabin. There is actually a cabin in this model, believe it or not, as well. Um, and so the legs and the table come out there so if you wanted some extra space there that, that can be created 
um, and then we've also got the power power hatch so we can just have a look through into our engine room so this particular model so there's petrol and diesel options so we'll just have a little talk about this mercury uh, we've got a mercury 370 horsepower 4.2 litre TDI engine uh, V8 um, coupled with the uh, Bravo 3 uh, drive, so the dual pop drive. Phenomenal speed, performance, so you've got low level speed, you've got power throughout the whole range with the, with the engines and drive and prop combination there. And she'll produce speeds of up to 50, around 55 knots, and she's cruising, a cruising speed of 40 knots. The uh, consumption figures of 1.2, approximately 1.2 litres per nautical mile, which is phenomenal. Then that allows a range with a reasonable fuel tank of 350 litres, will give you a range of somewhere in approximately 266 nautical miles. In this particular um, technical space here, it's got the batteries just here. You can see the, the finish and the fittings there. Um, rather than you just to point this out, so we've got our after anchor here, so very popular in Sweden, um, hence the way that's fitted in this particular model. Um, the, the anchor normally would be forward, um, but um, popular for Sweden. And here we've got a, uh, the uh, automatic inflation system. So the tube is actually in seven sections all the way around. Um, so what we can do is just with the switch just down below here, down by my feet, I can open up uh, the, uh, the seven sections so they are all open. Uh, the valve is all open all the way through and the automatic inflation will inflate the tubes and then you just lock off the seven sections when you want to and then that is uh, all inflated, ready to go. Again, less storage space for pumps, no messing around with that, nice and simple. Um, and on a hot day, I think warming up here at the show today, um, if the tubes get hot and uh, need to, then we've got the release valves here as well. And I'm just gonna come forward. So we've got some grab handles here all the way around and we just step forward and come up onto the foredeck. So we just come forward onto the foredeck here. Anchor locker just here. Anchor space. Again, we've got the, the PVA finish all the way through. Nice seat forward. And a follow through with all the useful yet aggressive lines all the way through on this boat. So actually a nice seat here forward. So actually having been on the boat, 30 knots, sat up here quite comfortably with the stepped hull. It was a nice, comfortable, confident ride. And then we're gonna come back aft. We'll come back into through into the cockpit and drop down into the cabin space. So here we are in the cabin. It's cozy. I'll give it that. But actually, there is a double bed made up here. A couple of seats. You could have a sea toilet fitted here for around £1,500. And we've got some down lighters here and actually some strip lighters forward here as well so incredibly you know you this could be used for storage space wet weather gear skis <coughs> also if you wanted to crash out so here in the Solent you um, you want to put the anchor down crash out you could actually do so with your own cabin space 29 feet 30 foot overall incredible amount of space thanks for taking the time to watch our video today so this is the Fugu 29, which is a brand new design. This is hull number three. Uh, we're the exclusive UK dealer and prices range from around £166,000 is the boat that, as you see it here today, UK tax pay. If you enjoy the content of our videos and like what we're putting out, then please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we'll make sure we add some more soon. Thank you.